Um. Yo, what's up? I'd like to welcome y'all to another episode of Pro TV. It's your boy, Mr. Producer. As usual, I'm in the lab chilling, working on my music, doing these videos for y'all to check out. Um, recently, I was up in Folsom, California for a, a memorial event for one of my relatives, Big John Evans, one of the best drummers that I've ever known in my life. He's played with um, some of the some of the greatest blues musicians you can name, think of. Some of your parents and grandparents, you know what I'm saying, favorite musicians, he even played with them. But while I was there, I got to check out and uh, chill with uh, Bill Moore Slim, one of the coolest cats I've ever met, you know what I'm saying? Straight pimp, California all the way. If you don't know who Fillmore Slim is, uh, go ahead and check out this clip. Fillmore Slim, the nigga come to the town. This town, Hollywood. One thing about Hollywood, you gonna get broke in this motherfucker or you gonna roll, either or. And I don't know why he thought he wasn't gonna roll, but he was scared of this motherfucking town, but he finally came down here. He brought seven black ass motherfucking bitches. He came down here, put him down. Let me see, that had to be somewhere around 82. Check this out, I first went to Hollywood. I had eight women, you know, I put him on Sunset on the track. Gilmore was kind of old then, you know what I'm saying? He's an old nigga to us then. So we, you know, greeting him and everything. But then the young fly niggas coming up to this nigga, we, we just knock him. Seven, eight times he got served in the course of about five hours standing at, at Pioneer Chicken. So I get knocked off. I get charged all eight of my women, right? And, and when he got served for the last bitch, that motherfucker say, damn. And they come and serve me, right? Say, man, you know, knock you off all your women. You know, this is Hollywood, say, you know, you from, this is a Frisco, you know. I said, well, hey, ain't no problem. Took his head and went to the phone. Now, why he at the phone? Oh, we just cracking on him. Man, that nigga got peeled left and right. Doesn't mean they got all his hoes. He got peeled like a motherfucking banana, just dry. You understand what I'm saying? So, what happened was, the nigga get off the phone and come back over and say, nigga. You thought I was on the AD? I feel my motherfucking slim. That was my second string of hoes y'all got. Just the warmers. That was the best warmers I brought out here. And I got my first string on the way. So I come back with the champions. And I'll be a motherfucker if the next day that nigga didn't have another seven motherfucking bitches that didn't nobody get to have on that track penny. Then they had to respect me. I hope y'all got a better idea of uh, who Fillmore Slim is now. He's a real type nigga, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run this other clip, you know what I'm saying, about what he had to say about my relative, Big John Evans. Check it out. Nigga, I'm coastal, completing my deals through the U.S. Postal. I'm chilling with the legend, you know what I'm saying? The OG great, you know what I'm saying? Caddy Pippin at his finest, Mr. Fillmore Slim. Me, one and only pro, Mr. Fillmore Slim. You know what I'm saying? It's a pleasure for me to be here you know, tonight. We brought here for our family memorial, Big John Evans, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace. One of the late great drummers. Can, can I get you to say something? Yeah, let me say to you about Big John. Me and Big John travel all over the world, you know what I'm saying? Did the chitlin and stuff, you know. You know, I'm on the guitar, he on the drums. You know what I mean? I mean, we live one time we left over, we had to go to Amarillo, Texas. You know what I mean? We was in an old marquee. And then we get down to Amarillo, the car break down, all the red lights come on. I said, John, what's wrong with the car? John said, Man, I don't know. I had to tune up on that over. And we all those musicians in this big old car. Some people are pushing up the hill, pushing up the hill. When the car started again, we're going down the hill. We're going out of All this thick, we're going down the hill. So we got this going up the hill, the old car stopped again. We go outside the road, we all wrapped up in black clothes to sleep. Get a knock on the window. It's the mountain, the highway mountain. So that is the old self foot dog, police around right that. Say, you boys need help? I say, oh, so what did you say for me? I did with all these blankets. <laughs> they have a cut in New Mexico. 
so we left. They said, I mean, so they didn't take us. I know we could get this. They said, okay, so they take us to the town, right? And they take us to a shelter. And don't forget that. They take us to the shelter. And the shelter here, the only shelter I ever been in. And they had white sheets and everything. Because that be, you know, there wasn't nobody there but us. So we was in there that morning. You know, we stayed there, you know. We did big job.